Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how we can create bulk DNA uh, bone expressions uh, using Mesh Morpher and we will create this uh, DNA uh, expressions from morph targets, right? So they, they will not be just uh, blend shape uh, sculpts, they will be uh, DNA uh, bone expressions, right? So we will generate bone movement from morph targets. So uh, to get uh, this started, uh, what uh, we're, we're going to do in this uh, video, we're going to work with corner pool. I think this is uh, very quick uh, to uh, showcase. Uh, so we're going to use uh, these uh, corner pool expressions, right? And uh, we're going to export them to OVJ. Uh, we're going to uh, use the default exports and uh, you can add a prefix, a suffix, and it's, it's up to you if you add anything to uh, the exported OBJ files. I'm not going to export the uh, quad and I'm not going to export welded, right? I'm, I just want to quickly uh, sculpt uh, some uh, expressions. So let me create a new folder here and I'm going to put uh, these uh, expression OBJ files into test to folder there. Okay, uh, our expressions are exported and uh, now uh, we want to also export a neutral uh, mesh, right? We want our uh, uh, metahuman to, to be in neutral as well. So let's export this to OBJ, the same using defaults. Uh, we don't uh, need to do anything. And uh, now that we've uh, exported uh, the files, uh, let's open Blender. And uh, let's uh, do some quick sculpting. Okay, so now uh, we are opening the uh, corner pool left uh, OBJ and uh, we're just going to import it. Let's zoom in a little bit. I'm just going to use the mouse for this. So, Okay, uh, let's uh, switch to sculpt mode. Let's select the grab tool. Let's make this a little bit bigger, this brush. And now let's modify a little bit the mouth, right? Ideally, you want to uh, not affect the eyes uh, because otherwise you will get eye movement in your expression. And if it doesn't need eye movement in your expression, you, you might get uh, unwanted results, right? So I'm just uh, going to leave it to this. This is my corner pool left. And I'm just going to overwrite uh, the file I've uh, imported. It's this one. And now let's uh, import the right side, which is going to be kind of the same thing. Uh, OPJ. Let's import the OPJ file and let's quickly sculpt some changes to our expression here, right? So I'm uh, gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select the head shader, I'm gonna go to uh, sculpt mode, uh, I'm gonna select the grab tool, and I'm just gonna increase the radius a little bit. We're just testing for this video we are not uh, doing any uh, professional uh, sculpting here okay and now let's export okay so this is our right side and we can close blender and to import uh, we're gonna go to create from mesh files uh, I'm going to select bulk import because I want to import uh, uh, all OBJ files in uh, the folder I've selected. Uh, with two, it's easy, but if you have 20, it becomes uh, a task, right? Something you have to repeat a lot of time and uh, bulk import is uh, pretty good at uh, that. Uh, let's uh, select first the neutral mesh, which is going to be our base. And then we will select the morph directory, which is going to be test two, where we put our OBJ files, right? You will see that when we select the directory, there's no morphed OBJ file, like uh, when we import uh, without bulk selected. 
I'm going to keep match uh, by UV and I'm just going to hit create. You can add the prefix and, or suffix on your imports as well. So you know uh, what the uh, uh, morph target is representing, uh, which batch, for example, you can put any batch number here or tag or whatever. I'm just going to leave it default. Okay, it says our morph targets have been imported. Let's save. Okay. And let's test it. This is the left side. And this is the right side. Our corner pull expression currently looks like this. Right? Uh, let's go to poser. And let's uh, see them in poser, right? Let's go with corner pull. This is the bone movement we get from our current uh, uh, corner pull uh, expression for the left side. And this is for the right side. Uh, now we, to create uh, the DNA bone expressions, uh, we, we can uh, do uh, one thing. Uh, if you want to do only one and uh, you don't have uh, the morph target named as your Corner, as your DNA expression, you can select these two and click on create DNA expression. And if you search for corner pool, uh, now it identified the, the right uh, uh, morph target as well. So to automatically be identified, uh, the morph target needs to contain the name of the expression, right? So it's uh, the same name if you see this, uh, uh, this is the expression, CTRL expression small corner pool, right? And this is the morph target uh, for which uh, we want to create, right? So uh, to make it uh, auto, uh, to uh, just load the create DNA expression, you don't need to have any selection. It's uh, it doesn't require anything. You just go to create DNA expression, and if you search, for example, for corner pool, you will see that they are automatically matched, right? But if you want to manually match, for example, your morph targets don't contain this. Uh, uh, naming uh, of uh, the expression, you can manually select your morph targets, right? And uh, you can also search for them. And you can save a map and then load the map where, 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 whenever you need it, right? So it's up to you. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, leave these uh, settings uh, by default. Uh, this usually work in most cases. Uh, I never encountered uh, uh, an example of case where the defaults didn't work, so uh, keep that in mind. But if you face any case, uh, just fiddle with these settings here. I'm just going to use uh, bone smoothing, which will generate uh, very uh, nice uh, bone uh, movement from our morph target. Uh, without it, it's going to be uh, like a raw, right? It's, uh, it's not going to be processed in any way. I like uh, to use uh, bone smoothing. And we will automatically generate the correctives, right? We need uh, the morph targets that are also associated with these expressions. So, for example, uh, we have uh, corner pool L. Uh, its uh, morph target is... Uh, Head, LOD, zero, mesh, mouth, corner, pull, left, right. Uh, we need uh, this um, so we can uh, preserve the details that couldn't be captured by our uh, bone movement, right? Uh, we're trying to match uh, with bones uh, the shape, but whatever cannot be captured, it will be automatically put into uh, these uh, uh, corrective uh, uh, morph targets that are associated with an expression, right? So if we go, uh, let's uh, uh, go again uh, here. Uh, okay, uh, I've uh, seen, I've selected uh, the corner pool left and uh, I had uh, the expression as well selected. And now it, it appeared that I'm trying to create uh, the expression from the corrective morph target. Uh, this is not what I'm trying to do, so I'm just gonna uh, go here, pull left. I'm gonna select the correct uh, morph target. And now uh, we can proceed, right? Uh, we can uh, press OK. Uh, and uh, uh, we're just gonna wait a little bit for this uh, process to be completed. Uh, 
Okay, uh, we've generated the, the DNA bone expressions, so, uh, 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 both of them, right? So let's uh, check them out. This is a new uh, DNA bone expression. As you can see, the bones uh, now move uh, way much more to, to match uh, what uh, we have, uh, what we had sculpted in our morph target, right? So to uh, get uh, a little bit of uh, an example of what's going on, uh, let's uh, see the morph target. This is the morph target. And this is our DNA bone expression generated from our morph target. As you can see, it's uh, the same, right? It's uh, it's uh, created with bone movement and whatever couldn't be created with uh, bone movement, uh, it's going to be in uh, the corrective uh, morph target, right? See, uh, 7,000 uh, vertices were altered so we can reach the final shape, right? So uh, let's test the right side. And this is the right side. Now, uh, uh, this is a very quick way uh, to generate uh, metahuman DNA bone expressions, right? Uh, not uh, just uh, normal blend shapes. We don't customize... Uh, our metahumans just with the blend shapes, but we use uh, DNA bone expressions as intended with uh, metahumans, right? And uh, whatever couldn't be captured by bone movement, uh, we are uh, creating a corrective morph target that will be automatically triggered by the, uh, the DNA rig logic. So I hope uh, you like uh, this new future here. Uh, this, I think, will speed up the process of uh, customizing metahumans uh, by a lot. And uh, looking forward to see uh, what you guys uh, come up with, right? So thank you for watching and see you around. Bye.